cool. And um, you said you mentioned one. Other, I know my partner Danny has a question, but uh, you said something about listings as well. So that's the route for looking at a cash offer. What do you guys typically do in terms of like a sourcing for listing, or listing a property uh, for other clients? Um, it, it depends. Um, if you guys are real estate agents, what they usually do is they would uh, ask if they're interested to get a cash mm-hmm. offer. Of course, the person's going to say, no, I don't want that because I'm going to get a lower mark, uh, a, a below market value. Then mm-hmm. we'll say, so you're interested to sell. So we'll just, you know, try and talk to you about listing it because the market is really good right now. So that's the approach. But if you are not a realtor, I, I, I've heard that some people are doing referrals. So if you have a lead who wants to list, but you can't list it, then you can find a realtor who can in that area and kind of like get a referral for that because we can't, we can't. Gotcha. Yeah. We understand that. Um, We're we're both uh, involved with real estate. We have our license and really sell commercial buildings. So just wanted to know on that side of things too. Awesome. Uh, So if you want someone who has an experience with both real estate investment and real estate, go calling for real estate investor and, real estate agent we i also have someone like that who knows what kind of questions to ask depending on what they want do what do they want to list it do they want to get get a cash offer so let me know okay got it and i have a question for you so typically let just kind of run me through a scenario right you, let's say you you get on the call you triple dial somebody answers mm-hmm. you know what are the questions you guys are in, are asking essentially like what how, what's kind of the process look like Somebody will answer. It's kind of like a hesitant answer. I'm just curious to see kind of what the what the process looks like on your end. What what kind of call is this? Is this for a real? Uh, this or? is no, no. This is for you know. You want to place an offer, right? So um, it's going to be cold calling. So what we're going to do is to say that, hey, Nick, my name is Jaslyn. Um, we are a local. I work for. Uh, we don't say like we're a company. Right. So I have, uh, you know, my partner here in uh, in the area and he just bought a few properties and we're still very interested to buy additional properties. We like the area a lot. And we saw that you have a property, a one, two, three Main Street. And we're curious if you would be interested to get a cash offer for that. So they would typically ask, how much do you how much are you offering? Because they feel like we're the buyer or they'd say they're not interested. But regardless, let's say in a perfect world, they say, yeah, sure. How much do you guys offer? But bottom line is the uh, cold caller is not allowed to say anything in regard to the price because they haven't done the comps yet. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is we we need to tell them, okay, that's a great question. Um, What time can my acquisition manager give you a call to give you, uh, you know, a price? Because we need to run the numbers first to make sure to give you um, a good offer, right? And then once they agree on a time, then we ask the pre-qualifying questions. Okay, before we let you go, before I let you go, can I ask you, Nick, um, if ever you do sell your property, where do you plan to go? Uh, Where do you plan to move to? So it's like I'm trying to find out what their motivation is, or maybe I'd ask what made you think about selling. They'd probably say, because you called me, you asked me, but, but bottom line is I'm going to dig deeper as to, because you wouldn't be saying yes to me unless you really have a good motivation. What we're trying to avoid is someone saying, just because you asked me, or maybe I want to test the water. We want to have someone with a uh, deep motivation. Right. And then we're going to ask them if ever you, you get a good offer, something that you, you feel like it's fair. Um, what how soon do you do you see yourself making the move? So we want to we want to know what is the timeline? Are we looking at, you know, someone wanting to move in a year's time? Because that's not what you want. We're looking at someone who wants to move right away. Mm-hmm. And then later on, very important, we got to ask for um, the condition of the property. Right. Uh, can I ask you what is, you know, what is the condition of your property? Do you, have you done any updates? And we do have a script I can share it with you. And then we ask them what kind of uh, like certain questions to to know the condition of the house. Sometimes I would even ask them if you were going to rate your home from one to ten, how, how much would you rate it? What kind of updates do you think it needs? And then mm-hmm. lastly, we want to know what expectations do they have in regard to the price? OK, so I, like I said, Nick, I'm going to have my acquisition manager run the numbers, but I'd like to know, do you have any number in mind that you feel like would be good for you and that we have to meet? And then 
at that point, we should be looking at Zillow. We're not going to tell them, but we should be looking at Zillow to know roughly what what the Zestimate is. It has to be mm-hmm. below that, at least about 70%, right? It has to be below 70, 60% off of the market value on Zillow. It can be more, like it can be $200 property. The man is asking for a million. Obviously, he's just playing around, right? So you want to mm-hmm. make sure that this person um has the uh, motivation the time frame and the condition of the property we need something that needs the tender love and care and then there's a realistic price value that they're looking for okay yeah that that sure helps i appreciate you giving us that background i guess if that same call were to look from the perspective of um hey are you considering maybe listing the property maybe if you call a call for commercial real estate agents what does a call like that usually go for just out of curiosity how, how does that call go uh, i don't know i'm going to switch if i don't invest calling someone to ask and ask them if they want to get a cash cash offer mm-hmm. or i'm i'm confused oh so yeah so you'd call maybe be like hey just reach now um you know uh Wondering if you had any thoughts into a sale. Would you say like maybe in that case, it's if I work with an investor or an acquisitions team, maybe like I'm, my partner's a realtor. Like what, what do you guys typically say in that type of call? To move it or to push it to a, a, a listing, towards listing, listing the property. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Well, we don't want to make them, you know, we don't want to confuse the person, right? So you want to start off with just one topic. So if I'm going to talk about like cash offer, for example, if that's the priority, and mm-hmm. if I feel like, no, 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 I have uh, the the person, a lot of people are calling me about that. I know that you guys are going to lowball me. So he's being, mm-hmm. you know, he's being called a lot by different other investors, right? Okay. So then I'm going to say, okay, so you're not interested to get a, a below market value, but you are interested to sell, aren't you? And if they say, yeah, yeah, probably for the right number, for the right offer. Okay, perfect. So what would be a good number for you? Right. So, you know, if it's not a cash offer, if it's a regular sale, like you list a property or something, what would be a good number for you? Then they would give us a number. Then, OK, I'm going to have my agent. You know what? My partner is also a realtor. Um, the market is really it's a seller's market. OK, uh, there's a low inventory right now and uh, we can get you multiple offers that can drive the up the, the price of your property. So let's go ahead mm-hmm. and hook you up with my realtor. He's always in the area and you know he can meet you for a quick chat and just share with you uh, what we think about your property and how we can help you get the most money out of it. Now, gotcha. Set it up. Before I let that person go, I'm going to have to ask some pre-qualifying questions to know, again, what the motivation is. I want to know what the motivation is. I want to know... Um, where they're planning to go, what may, what what's making them sell the property, what's the price expectation, same thing. What's the condition of the property? Um, I typically use Kevin Ward's script for that. If you're familiar with him, his his realtor. Kevin Ward's script. I don't think I. Yeah. Um, Kevin Ward and Jackie Kravitz. So I use their scripts for both expired for sale by owner. Um, and circle prospecting. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. Awesome. All this is really helpful. I mean, we're definitely interested, I guess, uh, because you, you specifically would not be making the calls. One of your uh, associates would be um, what, I mean, what, what would you say the next steps are from here? I'd like you to recommend uh, to interview the person if, if that's okay mm-hmm. with you. I yeah. would send over some candidates that I think would be a good fit. Do you have any price restriction? So, yeah, I mean, like to some degree, we want to keep things cost effective. I think, and I have to speak to our third partner as well. But I'm, you know, we're pretty, we're looking for someone that can, uh, you know, handle handle the job correctly, um, and we're looking to save at the same time. So I, I, I didn't look through the pricing fully, but I guess maybe somewhere in the middle. Um, I think that what the calls are going to be are, are is going to be pretty simplistic. And if there's somebody who maybe doesn't have as much experience, but we feel speaks very good English, they have a very good you know accent and think that they're smart enough to handle it, or I guess quick enough to handle it, we'd be comfortable not paying for the top dollar, if that makes sense. Correct. Okay. I'll start over with uh, sending you the rest of my script so I can show you what sort of script we follow. 
But if you guys have your own script too, we can use that as well. Um, I will also be sending the candidate recommendations today. I know I sent you a list of people, but I'm going to refilter that and send you the ones that I think would be a good fit for your business. And then let me know I'll, at what time we can set the interview this week and we'll set it up so you can have a grasp. I'll, you can even have a role play with, with the candidate. I'll give him a heads up if you want. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. And we'll probably pick one or two. And uh, to be completely honest with you, we're doing this, we have a business model that this is more so wholesaling, but uh, we're pretty sure we've been talking that we're going to implement some of this in, in our own personal business, which involves the sale of commercial real estate. So, you know, we may even, depending on the hours and the workload, work with multiple candidates and depending on the, the success we get from it as well.